guys, welcome back to Total Detailing. So I operate a mobile detailing business and I tow a trailer. I have hooks and straps inside my trailer for almost everything. The most annoying thing was that no matter what I did, I couldn't get my pressure washer, spray gun, and wand to stay where I wanted. Every time I opened the door, it was on the floor. So... I went searching around for a pressure washer wand holder, so then I stumbled upon this. If you bought one of these, you should be highly upset with yourself. So Mosmatic, a sort of bougie or boutique name in auto detailing, makes a pressure washer wand holder. Granted, it's made of stainless steel and it looks cool, and can be over $100 depending on where you find it. Excuse me? I'm going to show you today how you can make your own pressure washer wand holder without cutting anything, without buying it online, and without breaking the bank. I was able to make a pressure washer wand holder in five minutes with nothing more than a drill and four screws. So I ventured out to Lowe's this morning. I needed another 40 degree pressure washer tip. Mine almost stopped working on a detail this past weekend. And the 40 degree is my most used tip. Here it is. Wow, 10 bucks? I could buy an entire pack of these online for $10. Oh, uh, well, what are you gonna do? Oh, check this out. Lowe's carries a foam cannon. It's 35 bucks and it has a ratio mixer on it. Shoot for 35 bucks, that's good to know where you can get one quickly if you need one fast. So now I'm off to find the rest of the pieces that I need to build this. I'm clearly having a hard time finding what I need. Where am I going? This place is huge. Why are there so many things? Can somebody help me? Hello? Here we go, the plumbing section. So what we need are two two-foot sections of two-inch PVC pipe. I'm making two since I have a backup wand and spray gun that I also want to mount. These are like five bucks each. We also need some PVC pipe mounts. We need four in total. They're 68 cents each. They're called two inch galvanized two hole pipe straps. Now I also want some type of adapter for the end so the spray gun doesn't just slam against the lip of the PVC pipe and break it. So this is a two inch pipe adapter. I just grabbed what I could find that would fit on the pipe and give me the protection that I wanted. They were less than three dollars each. I also needed another bucket since I cracked my rinse bucket. I've got tons of Home Depot and Lowe's buckets, but they don't look as good as the white ones. Gotta be professional out here. So putting this together is really easy. So first put the coupler or whatever adapter you pick for the protective lip onto the pipe. Give it a good smack so it's seated tightly. You take the first pipe hanger and mount it where you want the wand holder to be. Then once you've got it secured, drop the pipe into the hanger. Then run in the other screw on the other side of the first hanger. Then install the second hanger further down the pipe. That's it. Now you've got a rock solid wand holder for less than 10 bucks in your pressure washer wand will stop falling on the floor and you can say that you saved like $90 all right guys thanks for watching I appreciate it let me know what you think down in the comments I'm always looking for feedback we'll see you in the next one good luck out there